famed home gardener James Regatta, while biking to his friend Steve's house, fell into a vortex at first in Chateau and vanished. He woke to find himself trapped in the past, facing mirrored images that were not his own, and driven by an unknown force to change gardening history for the better. His only guide on his journey is Doug, an observer from his own time with a severe drinking problem that only James can see and hear in the form of a hologram. And so James leaps from life to life, striving to put right what once went wrong for gardeners, and hoping each time that the next leap will be the leap home. Doug, what am I here to do? I think I got puke on my pants. Okay, settle down, settle down. Take a couple shots of that vodka laying over there on the floor. Okay, your name is Dennis Stinton. You're 32 years old. And you write for the local newspaper? That's great, Doug, but what am I here to do? Betty says there's a 69% chance that your recent ex-girlfriend's going to improperly water her garden today at noon. It says that the sunlight reflects through the water and burns the leaves. Did you say noon? What time is it now, Doug? 11.55. You gotta go, James. It's 10 blocks away. Make a left at the door and keep running. Damn it! Rebecca, don't do it. He's going to be here in just a minute. Rebecca! No! 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 Dennis, what the fuck are you doing? You can't water your garden at this time of day. It's noon! The sun's going to reflect through the water droplets and it's going to burn the leaves. You lose the crop! Oh my gosh. I had no idea. You're right. I know. There you are. You did it. Betty says that you and Rebecca get back together. The crop survives till harvest. You start your own farm and sell your produce to some of the best restaurants in the Portland area. Thanks, Doug. Bye-bye, James. Section. I said my name. I don't know where I'm at now. St. Louis. It's the day I fell in the vortex. It's me! I'm back! And with all the knowledge gained traveling through time, it's time to start a new garden. And in a new house as well! I've moved in the city this year with three of my friends and we're challenging ourselves to create a bountiful urban garden using containers and trying out the popular square foot gardening technique to get the most out of the small space hours and most city dwellers have available for planting. But we'll talk about all that in more detail next time. Stay tuned for Doyleology with Clementine and until the next episode, I'll be enjoying some beer and orange juice, what we call in St. Louis a ghetto sun. Thank you for joining me here today. On James's garden. <laughs>